Certainly, camels are notoriously unimpressed by flash cars. If you want to catch one, you need two things. Four-wheel drive and a lobotomy. So this is the kind of bush that I mean it, but absolutely no man <laughs> has been before. We're 100 miles from Alice Springs here. We know what it does to people when you live out here. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. He keeps saying, Ben's in ease, Ben's in ease. Now, Ben's. Old scheme practice coming in here. What happens when we catch the camel? Oh, the plan is gun here. Denmark's only camel catcher. He's gonna. Whoa, hold on. That's that tree. He's gonna get on the running board and literally, I call it bulldogging. He's just gonna leap off the vehicle and grab it around its neck and wrestle it to the ground. Well. The first attempt was a failure, perhaps because it had been a two-hour chase, during which time we'd ripped through the bush at up to 80 miles an hour, having our hands and faces torn apart by passing trees. We were tired, the tires were shot, and it was hot enough to boil a tortoise. The second attempt was also a failure, but Gunn had had enough of being battered to death in the Land Cruiser. He was going to take on Mr. Camel, man to man. They can't simply shoot the camels, which are all over the bush, because many are exported to the Middle East to be used for racing or breeding. Okay. Is this a good one, or is it a...? Yeah, it's a good little bull. Yeah? Not a bad-looking little bull. He's a tough old bird, isn't he? But again, he did very well. And you know when they say people are supposed to look like their dogs? Ah. Don't you think there's... <laughs> I don't know, I think he's going to look dog. a bit like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> look, it's going right, they've got lots of food and everything. There's no veal protesters where you're going. He'll be all right. You know what the Outback is? It's a giant adventure playground. You can have some serious fun out here.